Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, this quest, uh, a song of cubes and boxes. Uh, my name is Mr. Lowe, and I will be uh, your game master for uh, this quest. This quest covers Envision Math 2.0, Topic 10, Understanding Volume Concepts, and uh, we are going to go ahead and get going. Uh, you need to make sure you have your math notebook uh, ready to go so you can take notes on all of the videos you're going to see as well as make sure that you do all of your work in your math notebook so that your game master can check it and the game master can give you uh, your well much deserved reward so here we go lesson 10-1 modeling volume um we have two vocabulary words we're going to be using today uh, and throughout this lesson, uh, throughout this topic, actually. Uh, the first is volume. Before we can, in order for us to understand what modeling volume is, we need to come up with a vocabulary definition for volume. Uh, volume is the number of cubic units needed to pack a solid figure without gaps and overlaps. So we're looking essentially for how much stuff can fit in something. Um, that could be a, a liquid, it could be solids. Uh, think of packing peanuts going inside boxes, those types of things uh, for us to figure out volume. Uh, cubic unit is the unit that we use to measure volume. Um, we start with the word cubic unit, um, but it's essentially going to end up being, it could be feet, could be yards, could be inches. It'll be a unit of measurement, but for uh, lesson 10-1, we're looking at cubic boxes. So I have a box here of a cube, uh, and this cube is the volume of one cube measuring one unit on each side. So what we essentially have here is this measurement right here, which will be our length. Uh, that will be uh, length, and that will be one unit long. This measurement here, which will be our width, that will be one unit long. And then this measurement here, which will be our height, that'll be another unit long. So in this case, we're looking at one unit by one unit by one unit is considered one cubic unit. And that will be meant, that'll be written out as the word cubic unit. Or if these were in inches, uh, you're looking at inches to the third power. That number right there, this, this third power right here indicates the measurement is in cubic units. Uh, it is inches to the third power because we essentially have our length and our width. Uh, and then we are going to use that H, that height, as our third unit. So when we looked at uh, measuring um, area, area was measured in square units or units to the second power. Volume will always be measured in cubic units or units to the third power. So we're going to go ahead and, and head out to a website now uh, to kind of do some examples and, and we'll kind of see where we're at. So our website is um, the NCTM website and I have a cube, a rectangular prism that has been filled with boxes and each of those boxes is one cubic unit. So it is one unit by one unit by one unit. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this so that we can actually write on the screen. So each of these is one unit by, here, let me do it here. One unit here, one unit here, and one unit high. So it's one unit long, one unit wide, and one unit high. That's gonna be our measurement. And when we look at this, guys, we wanna look at what is the total number of boxes in this shape? So I look at it and say, okay, well, if I'm going to count, I want to count my length first. And the measurement from there to there is one unit. And from here to here is two units. And from here to here is three units. So my length is going to be three units long. And I go and measure my width now. And I measure from here to here, that's one unit. From here to here, that's two units. From here to here, that's three units. And from here to here, that's four units. So this will be four units wide. And then the final measurement I need is my height. I know that it's two layers, which essentially means my height is going to be two. So from here to here is one, and from here to here is two. There is my third, which is two units. And that purple is kind of hard to see, but you get the idea. So it's three units long, three units wide, long, sorry, four units wide, and two units high. 
essentially guys what we're looking at is really counting boxes we want to find the total volume of this shape so if i know this is three boxes and this is four boxes the total number of boxes and that there are two layers i can essentially i can count the number of boxes in the top layer right here one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12. So the top unit has 12, but I know there's two layers. So if I do 12 times 2, that's going to give me 24 cubic units. 24 cubic units. There are 12 on the top layer, and there are 12 on the bottom layer. Um, so again, you're basically counting units or counting cubes to help us figure out what these dimensions are. Um, what we might want to do now is, let's see if I can go, I think I have another window open over here. Maybe I don't. All right, no big deal. So let's go over here and let's get rid of our lines. Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted. And instead of, I know that this is 24, but instead let's just add a couple of more shapes to it. Maybe we have something that looks like this now. You can't place an object here, why not? There we go. Oops. And give me one more cube. It's very touchy right there. And I want to get rid of one, which is right here. So now I have a kind of a different shape here. Um, I know there's 12 or 24 red cubes because I counted those. But if we can't see those, maybe we should kind of spin this so we can take a better look at it. So I know there, there's my one, two, three, so it's two wide, or two long, one, two, by one, two, three, four wide, so two by four, two times four is eight, and it's three high, eight times three is 24, so I know that there's 24 red cubes there, 24 cubic units, and then if we want to look at the blue side, because I'm going to basically add those. I want to be able to see all my blue ones. Well, I know my blue ones are one, two. So there's two here by two here. And maybe we'll change this just to see the color here. And it's one, two, three high. So that's two by two. So there's four cubes in the bottom layer. There's four cubes in the middle layer. And there's four cubes in the top layer. And I can count the top layer just by looking at the top squares. So there's four here, four in the middle, four at the bottom. Four times three is 12. That means there are 24, 24 red ones. And there are uh, 12 blue ones. So I add those two together to get a total of two plus four is six. Three, two plus one is three, 36 cubic units. So that combined, combined volume of both of those shapes would be 36 cubic units. You are going to go ahead and do some examples for yourself, some practice buddy problems. And uh, you're basically gonna be looking at shapes that are gonna look very similar to these. Um, sometimes they'll be combined, sometimes they'll be single shapes. Um, you want to make sure you're counting carefully and selecting the correct uh, unit of measurement. Make sure it is cubic units. You want to show your work to the Game Master, uh, and then the Game Master will give you a re reward, and uh, you'll be on your way. So good luck. Uh, stay safe. Keep working hard, and make sure you do all your work in your notebook.